Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Happy December 30th. So I just dropped baby girl off at her Nana's house with Nana and Papa. And Ronnie is at the townhouse getting the last light fixture down and putting the replacement fan up in the master. And also getting the last bit of stuff that we left at the house because settlement is supposed to be tomorrow. We'll see, December 31st. We shall see. Um, that's what it's supposed to be. We'll see. Because I haven't heard 100% whether it's going to be tomorrow or not. Um, and a part of me feels like it's going to be late. So, we'll see. But anyway, I'm just going to stop at Aldi because I want to get some stuff for our charcuterie platter for tomorrow. You guys, we are hosting New Year's at our house and everyone is spending the night. It's going to be so much fun. My brother's family, everybody is spending the night this time. It's going to be so fun. Ronnie's um, parents, his sister, her kids, my parents, my grandma, um, my, I don't know if my sister is staying. She may. Um, but, um like I said my brother's family as well so we were getting the menu together so we're having so much good food I just ordered from Levi's the collard greens mac and cheese fried chicken my mom is making something called hop and jam um, and then what else um, what else is she doing hop and John and something else I don't know and then my cousin Daryl is doing a fruit tray uh, a veggie tray and chips and dip Ronnie and I are doing barbecue meatballs um, our charcuterie platter and like some more um, what do you call it uh, like finger food appetizers um, my brother and sister in law are doing ribs they did a tray of mac a half a pan of mac and cheese a half a pan of fried chicken um, and they're getting like some drinks and stuff for the kids and for us so that's good we're just gonna have a good time the snack table is still in full effect from Christmas they didn't eat all the snacks so we're just gonna have a good old time just you know bringing in the new year together we have games we have the TV they have the pool table down there foosball the kids have their playroom so it's just going to be fun. We have a card table for spades. It's just going to be fun. And this time, nobody really has to leave. So it'll be a good time had at all. Anywho, um, I'm going to stop at Aldi now because it's 1.30 already. And then I'm headed to Ronnie. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, holiday Christmas photo. Um, video that I posted with all of our holiday photos in it. I hope you guys really like them. I know if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the majority of them. But if you don't, which you should, my house underscore, my home underscore, if you don't, this is your first time seeing them in, in their entirety. And everybody has been saying they really like the pictures. Everyone loves the green. A few of you asked me about my dress. It is from boohoo.com. I don't remember the name of it, but I have that dress in like 10 different colors. Like seriously, hot pink, yellow, um, like a muted pink color I have it in the green color now and a few other colors I don't know but it's like 20 bucks after their sales and you just have to wait for it to come obviously but I think it's called the off the shoulder midi dress mini midi midi I think off the shoulder google that we'll put that in the search um, box for boohoo.com but I never pay more than like $20 $22 for the dress even after shipping and that one was the plus size I want to say that was my, the first one I got that was plus no I don't think it was plus I don't know but it was available in emerald green so I took a chance and it worked out so that's where the dress was it was not expensive at all I already had the shoes um their guest brand G I've had them for years, honestly. Um, so, yeah. And then Baby Girl's dress was from Macy's. I paid 30 bucks for it. And Ronnie's tie, it came with a tie, a real bow tie that you have to know how to tie, um, a pocket square, and a vest. He only wore the tie and because he didn't know that there was a pocket square in there. Don't get me started, y'all. Um, but it was from Amazon, and I think that was 30 bucks too. It was a, a set for all four. But I'm pulling into Aldi now, so I will talk to you guys now.
ba later. I said now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Y'all, I just got so much sh yes button says shit. Um, from Aldi for my charcuterie boards. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna do one long one and push all of the um the cutting boards together. But I don't know. I got so much stuff out of Aldi, like to the tune of $176. Ronnie's gonna kill me. But all of it is not for the charcuterie board. Some of it is like just the um finger foods and appetizers and stuff like that that you warm up and just serve heat and serve so i got a lot of those like the to taquitos and just a lot of little things um but the majority was for my charcuterie board like i'm gonna do a massive one i'm super excited about it y'all just do not know like seriously i'm so excited about it oh, i hate coming out of here i really do Anyway, I got me some, something to snack on. I'm supposed to be meeting Ronnie at our house now. These are really good. If you have not had them, the Snyder's Pieces, Honey Mustard and Onion. They do have the hot ones, Buffalo Wing something, but I like the Honey Mustard ones. As um the guy was bringing these up, he was like, those are so good. I'm like, I don't know. Thank you so much. Um, But yeah. And I did just put... hand sanitizer on and all that stuff um well yeah i'm excited i got probably like 12 cheeses because i couldn't decide they didn't have any smoked salmon so i got like all these other meats and stuff salamis and i didn't see any pepperoni well some of them do have pepperoni wrapped in cheese but i got like 12 cheeses I'm excited. I'll bring y'all along for the process. I have no idea what I'm doing, but there's tons of pictures on Pinterest for inspiration. So I figure I can arrange it on the board. Right? Why not? It'll be fun. Okay guys, so we just changed the lights to the daylight ones. I put it in the stretch bag. Um, hold on. We changed these floodlights to these daylight bulbs because I love them. They make your house look really, really, uh-oh, hold on. This trash bag is done. They make your house look really, really um bright and like modern and I believe they use less energy as well but um you can tell so and he also installed this from the townhouse one of the gems fell off in the little piece to connect it so we have to look in his van and look at the townhouse for it but hopefully we can find it because I don't think you can buy replacements but hopefully it's at the townhouse or it's in his van but we installed this so that works turn on the fan It works and then we installed these we put one in the sunroom i mean the sitting room so we have to get two more it was only a pack of six and we needed one for the kitchen by the refrigerator we also brought our pitcher from the um townhouse as well i don't know where we're gonna put that um maybe one right there and maybe one over there i don't know or maybe in the sitting room like one there and one there I do have a second um, frame that matches that. Um, and then we have, behind this, we have this painting as well. So, for right now, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure what. Um, I, I want to put a mirror over this since we don't have a mirror in the room. So, that might have to go over the bed. But eventually, I want to get a canopy bed. So, I don't know where that would go. Maybe on the back wall in the sitting area. Not sure. Stay tuned. Baby, look at my baby. She's sitting up by herself. She's sitting up. Oh my goodness. She's sitting up by herself. Okay, y'all. So, I got all my stuff here. 
and I'm about to make my charcuterie board. <laughs> so I put some of these, I put three here, and then I do have a round one here that I just used a Tupperware container because I thought I had more of these from Dollar Tree, but I don't. Um, but I have another board here that I may make as well in an extra thing. Um, but I'm about to make it. I have all, everything all, all around. So I think what I'm going to do is put the things that need to go in these things. Actually, I'll do that last because those things usually need to stay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, like I'm going to put some of this stuff that needs to go in the bowls. And then we have some trail mix as well. Um, and then we also have like a hummus ring. I did not watch a YouTube video like I was supposed to. So I'm just going to wing it. This is a hummus ring that's already. Yeah. So this may go like on the side here. On the end. I don't know. Y'all bear with me. That's going there. Okay, so next thing is I'm going to start placing some of the cheeses, I think. I don't know what goes with what, but we got to make it work. I'm going to put some of this in a bag. This is the sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix. So I'm going to put some of this in a bag. I mean, some of this in a bowl. Hmm. I'll put that over here. Okay. Got it on my table, y'all. Okay. So I use that. That's good. And then I may put some pickles. Some baby pickle, baby whole pickles. I'm going to put those probably over there. Y'all, if I can open this. Where's my lady? Hold on. Babe. sweet ones but this is all all we had so some dried mango. Thank you. 
so people can just grab a piece when they want it. Okay, we got a little bit of dried mango. Going with some dried cranberries. Okay, guys, look at my charcuterie board. My charcuterie board. It's yeah, all it's done. I got some blue cheese, gouda, brie, cheddar, some chocolate, all the different meats, some cranberry, white cheddar, some, I don't even know what that is, y'all. Oh, tomato, basil, cheese. And then we got a spicy Cajun cheese and all these other smoked cheddars and four different types of hummus. Look at my board. <laughs> I did it. We call this tray the Playboy tray. Why, Joshy? Because it's a Playboy. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm a Playboy. It's so cute. Look at my charcuterie. Mm -hmm. My hopping jar. And hopping. greens for money. Good Y'all, look at this charcuterie board. Please appreciate the charcuterie board. Okay, guys, this is happening. We tested it out, and she sat really well in my nephew's chair. So we're going to put together her um, high chair. My cousin Courtney got her this when she was born, and we got the Hamilton um, Duo Diner and DLX 6-in-1 chair. And it does all of these things you see down here. It becomes a booster seat and all of that other stuff. But, of course, we're going to be in stage one. Or maybe stage two, because she can sit up the full size um, high chair. She's upset and she wants to be our height. So um, I thought I got gray, but this looks black. Is it black thing? Black and white. Uh, well, it's fine. I thought I got gray. I thought it was a dark gray. Oh, this part is gray. This is the only one they had that would match the house. So, and it's gender neutral. So I'm going to pick her up so she can stop screaming. And yeah. Okay, we have a dining chair, a high chair. Baby girl fell asleep drinking her milk. Hey guys, it is still Saturday, uh, January the 2nd. It's 12.51 in the afternoon and me and baby girl, she's in the back. You guys can't see her, but she's right in her seat. Um, we're headed to my parents' house to help my sister Ashley prepare for baby Callie. Um, we had a scare yesterday. She woke up with a lot of pressure and everything when everyone was still at my house. So my sister-in-law Tia drove her to the hospital. They checked her. They said she's not dilated yet and to just take Tylenol to help with the pain and the pressure. But she is due on January the 15th. That's her C-section date. Um, so, I mean, if she goes into labor before that, they could possibly do it before that. So I noticed that she had not yet put together the dresser Ronnie and I bought her for the girls, well, for Callie, the baby's name is Callie. Um, Callie and Brooklyn are sharing a room. They have their own room now, so they're sharing a room. So she already had Brooklyn's um, gray dresser and gray crib. And then she bought um, Callie's gray crib and then as a baby present, I guess, because she didn't have a shower. COVID, um, 
Ronnie and I bought her the matching um, gray dresser for Callie's crib. So she hadn't put it together and she hadn't, you know, organized the clothes. And I know like that was one thing that was really stressing me out when I was in my final um, months of um, my pregnancy. So, and I know my friends came over and helped me and it was tremendous. Um, it was a tremendous load lifted off my shoulders. And then I was just kind of pacing myself as well because I had the luxury of working from home. I think my sister has entered that phase where she's just tired and she's fed up and she's just done. And she hasn't organized the baby's clothes yet. So um, thankfully most of the stuff um, has come passed back down from Reagan to her so I always wash and launder all of the clothes and refold them before I put them in bags and I separate them by size so it shouldn't be hard to organize the clothes um, and put them in the dresser and the majority of them should already be clean but I'm just gonna help her like put the wall decals up she ordered some wall decals and you know get the clothes organized and clean if anything needs to be washed I can do some laundry for her and just you know fold it and get everything together because there is no closet in the room which is why she has two dressers um, but her and my little cousin Chris did assemble the dresser a couple of days ago so the dresser for Callie is assembled it's just empty so I'm headed over there I, I bring baby girl with me um, whenever we go to one of our parents house because they will kind of watch over her while I'm doing stuff um, and Ronnie is at home he's gonna finish um, just tidying it up a, a bit my family is really really good and his family is really really good at helping us clean up and wash dishes and do all that other stuff get the trash out the trash man actually came um, this morning Saturday because Friday is our trash day and whenever it falls on a holiday they always come the next day so it always throws us off but me and my brother were downstairs this morning in the house and so we ran all the trash to the curb when we heard the trash man coming around the street so um, that eliminated the need for Ronnie to make a trip to the dump because we were able to like get all the trash out of the house from all three levels. We dumped all the trash, so um, that was good. But both our families are really good at helping us clean up and tidy up before they leave. So it's not a, a lot that Ronnie and I need to do whenever we're like um, getting the house back together from having an event. We'll just um, you know vacuum and shampoo the carpet and then um, sweep them off the floors and wipe down the counters with like Clorox wipes and stuff like that. But mainly all the dishes and stuff are done, all the trash was already gone. So we just had to take stuff back down into the party room um, and, you know, pick up the tables and chairs and stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty good. I'll wipe down the bathrooms and stuff tomorrow probably and pull the um, sheets off all three of the guest rooms and rewash those. But all of the tablecloths have been washed. I also did baby girls laundry last night and then dried it this morning. So when I get home tonight, I can fold that up. Um, and then I'll only have to focus on my laundry probably tomorrow. But I have some extra food and like alcohol and stuff like that that I'm bringing to my parents' house. Um, and then my brother and sister-in-law left um, one of Ace's bottles and his um, nighttime blanket. And um, my brother's kids actually sleep with their blankets every night. They need them to sleep. So I'm gonna drop that off um, as well because they live right by my parents. But that's what I'm doing. Um, baby girl is awake because she just woke up. She just actually woke up from a nap. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go help Auntie Ashley out get ready for baby Callie. So that's what's on the agenda. My parents called me just to thank us for having them and they're on their way to run a couple errands and then they'll be back home so hopefully they'll be able to sit with her because I was assuming they would be home that's why I brought her and I think Ronnie is just gonna um, tidy up a little bit more stuff and then take probably take a nap and chill out he said he may have some friends over for some fight tonight um, so yeah that's about it so I will talk to you guys later Bye. going through all of the clothes I've already started putting newborn in there and we're going through all of the clothes that I already laundered and folded, took them out of the bags that I brought over too. And then some of some other stuff. So we're getting it together. And then we gotta put the other wall decal up like that over there for Brooklyn. Baby girl sitting here in Brooklyn is on her cell phone. Calling people. <laughs> 